What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model a parking lot in Revit. Now this will be very simple well to create a simple parking lot but then I'm going to be showing you how to add uh, Revit's parking spots on that parking lot and this is going to allow us to create some schedules uh, that uh, that kind of calculate the number of parking spots you have in your project because usually when you're building a building or designing a building you uh, have some mandatory like regulation uh, that says how many parking spots you should have so this tool allows you to kind of calculate that a bit more a bit a bit easier so anyway, but before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so here I am in Revit and let's get started. So I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this simple project, and this will be a flat parking lot. Now, if you're working something that's on a hill or that's kind of has... Uh, a bit of a kind of difference in heights uh, then maybe check out my kind of a uh, landscape tutorial where I show how to place roads on these surfaces but anyway let's continue on with this flat parking lot so I'm just going to create a rectangle over here so this rectangular floor will be uh, just kind of the, the road and now we're going to be creating a new layer on top of it so we're going to have that curb and for that let's just start the floor command again and just give it a height offset in the value of the floor uh, thickness so this says 15 uh, or 150 millimeters so that's what I'm going to be typing in over here hit OK and now let's start modeling so it's going to be kind of a parking lot I want to show you how to do both a 90 degree angle parking as well as kind of a uh, 60 degree kind of curved angled parking so I'm just going to have like one road uh, that's going uh, like this and then it's going to be curving in our parking lot but first maybe let's yeah, let's do the parking lot first. So for the parking lot, you start with one line, or this is at least how I like to do it. So you start off with one line and then you use the offset tool. And then with the offset tool, you offset it by the distance. So the distance in this case will be, uh, it will be 4.8 meters. So this is the distance of the parking lot or for uh, 4,800 millimeters because this is now in millimeters so you offset it by that distance then you have to offset it by uh, by 6 meters because that's at least in my country the regulation for a 90 degree parking lot so it has to be at least uh, 600 6,000 millimeters or 6 meters and then offset it again by uh, 4,800 so kind of place it like that so this is the street in the middle and the parking uh, spots are going to be here and then let's close it off at this side close it off at this side as well and then let's go and kind of create a little street over here that's going to be exiting and this will be only a 3 meter street so let's check it from here it should be 1500 or 1500 and here as well okay so these are only uh, lines that are here to help us uh, for calculation but we're going to be deleting them later on and if this doesn't make sense currently don't worry it will make sense in a minute now let's maybe pull this in a bit so the parking lot will be uh, kind of a uh, it's going to have multiple parking spots which are uh, 2400 millimeters or 2.4 Four meters and then we can just do this at 2400 over here so we're going to have an equal number or actually 10 parking spots like this so let's now close this off okay and let's select these and let's just copy them to the other side and now you'll understand why I'm doing this so now I'm just going to do an arc so let's do an arc like this something kind of like that create a line going like this so basically you're going to be entering here, going to curve, go to the parking lot, parking on both sides and then exiting to the street again. And here we're going to have that angled parking. So that's the, the reason why you have this street. So you can have angled parking. Now let's use the offset tool again. Let's go with 3000 millimeters for this and for this as well. We can delete these two lines now. And we, I can use the split tool to kind of split this in half and trim and extend this and this 
maybe this and this and delete these inner lines because we don't need them and then connect this to this okay so this is joining the street so let's okay let's delete this dimension line but let's connect it like that connect it like this here and then let's just close it off so we have our little curb sticking out yeah and we only need to add that angled uh, parking lot so that should be at around 60 degrees so place it kind of like this and then you extend it like this and for the depth of the parking lot you should usually go more than you have over here if this is 4.8 meters this should be a bit more because when a car is at the angle then it's it needs a bit more space so let's go with 5.5 uh, .5 meters so something like this and then uh, for this offset again we're going to be using uh, the same value with it over here so that's 2.4 meters so let's just yeah let's offset it by uh, or 2.4 meters sorry so let's offset it by 2400 let's see what we get okay so it ends up over here so you kind of just connect it like this and then you use split line to split this line in half and then you just trim and extend this this and this okay so we've got our curb done and we're almost done with the parking lot we just need to add the parking spaces so how do you do that well you need to go to massing in the site you go to parking component and here you've got parking space 90 degrees so let's start with this one so you just place it kind of like that and then the second one you want to place it exactly here in the middle so it's the the right size so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this from here onward and then and make sure to check multiple so go like this or you can use an array for this but there's not that many so I'm just going to manually copy them all yeah kind of like that okay now we need to mirror it to the other side so we just select all of these and you go with uh, perhaps draw mirror and so just draw the axis like that and if it's not perfectly fitting which it probably isn't okay now it's perfect so just place parking spots like that as far as these 90 degree ones and for these at 60 degrees you go again parking and you choose 60 degrees but as you can see it's on the wrong side so you just select it and you go with the mirror tool again draw axis and you just kind of create it like this you mirror it to the other side you delete this one and this one you can select then and move all the way to the corner over here and once it's there now you can be copied or maybe let's do an array perhaps that's maybe even better so last number we need 10 of them and let's start from here and end it over here and there you go so we've got an array with these 60 degree parking spaces okay so once this is done now you can create a schedule that actually says how many spaces you've got here so how do you do that well uh, you need to go to the view tab and then you need to find uh, the schedules and then choose schedule quantities and here we've got this dialog that allows you allows you to basically set up your your schedule so let me just scroll down and find a parking schedule yeah here we go and just hit OK and here you can just search down and let's see what we have so we need to find count okay we need to know how many parking spots we have so just turn count over here hit OK and this is what we get and this is super annoying because you again have to count it so let's fix this up so you just search over here and let's see for fields okay not fields filters source uh, sorting and grouping okay this one you need to uncheck this itemize every instance and then hit okay and now the count is 30 so we have basically 10 here 10 here and 10 here total, uh, total of uh, 30 parking spots and if you want to know why I, I did these two because uh, for the 90 degree one you need like 6 meters or 5.5 meters to actually be able to maneuver your car into this parking spot and for the 60 degree one I think you can do it from a 3 meter street you can just kind of turn go in and then back out again and then turn around so that's the point that's why you want to have 
kind of if it's a narrow street then you want to have these angled ones even though they're not efficient as efficient as far as space goes and if you have enough room to maneuver then you want to use these 90 degree ones okay so that's pretty much it for this parking tutorial with a parking schedule that that Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to get this project file that I have here as well as all of my project files I've done so far, make sure to check out my Patreon, first link in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this and I'll see you in another, in another tutorial tomorrow.